The Kayla Restorative Justice Project in Limerick works with young offenders. We offer young people an opportunity to repair the harm caused to their victims, the community, but also their family members. We have seen the benefits of the restorative justice process and we'd like for you now to hear from some of the stories of the people who've taken part. Give me an insight as a parent as to the ripple, the ripple effect of what my son done. Well, I was worried about it when I, you know, when I was asked to do it, because there was a person coming in that had something stolen and belonged to him and that, and I was saying, what's it going to be like? Before I was going around and it was just messing and that, like, but showing me that my actions have consequences and you know, I have to take responsibility for what I do. It helped me, funnily enough, to to uh, to to say, uh, you know, just to to first of all to process the whole thing because I had never done that, to be honest. The restorative justice system that that you're proposing gives them an opportunity to ask the questions that they wouldn't have otherwise been able to ask uh, in a, uh, a court system. And what I would say to victims is. Listen to see what the project is about. Give it a chance, and as it is, it would play a very important role in the healing process for for that particular victim. I was involved in the victim impact panel uh, just a couple of years ago at this stage, and. Uh, I have to say, it came, it came very much out, out of the blue. At the time, I, I, I nearly had to trawl back about what, what, what exactly happened. And it, it helped me to process it. Uh, and what I, what, I, uh, what I liked then was that, that he was a guy uh, in front of me, a young fella. He was, he was kind of coming in with his hands up. What really struck me, Mary, was uh, the courage that it took for that guy to come in and sit down. And because I think I think uh, courage is a great attribute. And the other thing that the criminal is not kind of getting off scot free here. He has to, he he or she ha they have to be genuine as well. They have to be genuine about because um, the, the, another part of your process is in order for him or her to get to the table, they've got to establish their genuineness uh, and their their willingness to to make a change. So this, it's a kind of a win-win situation really, isn't it, for everybody? This is, you know, I have to take responsibility for the, what I do and you know, I was hurting the people, affecting the people around me, like, which I didn't think I was doing, like, you know, I was messing and thought there was no consequences, but there is, like, it's grand, like, you know, I actually help my mother around the house now, and don't leave everything to her, you know, actually doing things and getting on with life, you know, it's a lot easier, there's less fighting, things. Do it like you know, start making excuses and you had to put a bit of commitment into it and to get a lot out of it. Like, there's people that will help you, that they do genuinely care in the program and that they do want to see you getting on, but you have to do it like they can't do it for you. You have to be take responsibility and just do it yourself, but they'll help you. Like, it's absolutely fantastic because when it all with Anthony first started off, and we were afraid at one stage, we were afraid to enter the doors, you know, the guards and whatever, and all that. Once he got in, he turned his life completely around. It gave me, because I thought there was no one out there, I just didn't believe there was anything like that out there to kind of help the parents. And it was just great. The support was unreal and it was just, I couldn't say enough good things. It, it really took at me and me now to another level because we were both very, very down. But all that turned around, he turned his life all around. And he's like a new person now, we're now to God, he's like a new person. <laughs> I have a new son. You know, go for it. And get there and get the help. Because it's there and it's fantastic. It'll change their lives completely. And I was delighted I went down, because I heard from the other side, and so did Shane. And you realised what he was doing was crazy. And when he apologised to that man, and he meant it, it wasn't the usual, oh, I'm sorry, just things to be forgotten about. He was genuinely sorry. 
the, every meeting was a step for Shane to come out the other side. Before Shane got involved and I got involved in, with the kale and everything else, we couldn't see anything. It was just tension in the house. Shane was going out, we'll be home at half ten, of course I'll be home at half ten. Getting a phone call at two o'clock from the guards in the morning. His mother not sleeping, everything. And since then, everyone is happy. Happy. He's a different young fella since he got involved with us. A different young fella completely. Of all the programs we got involved in, the Kale was the best one we got involved in because it was all parents. There was no one talking down to us or telling us this or that. Everyone just were allowed to say what they wanted to say and it was kept in the room. And There was other people that we could talk to that were in the same boat. You know, you weren't out there on your own and it doesn't matter if you come from the poshest family in Limerick to the poorest. If your son gets or daughter gets into trouble, it's great to have someone ring them, pick up the phone. It does work. They're great support. They never let you down. If they say they're going to be there, they'll be there. And I recommend it to anyone to ring the kale. The minute your son or daughter gets into trouble, don't wait for 12 months down the road. You can get help from the start. Did the opportunity was there for my son to make up for what he did and to meet with that person and realise what he had done. It's not really for the parent, it's for their child, but it benefits because you do have a better relationship with your child go, going through a restorative justice program because you have to be so honest with each other and for a parent, like, they might know the extent of the crime that their child caused. It gave me relief that I met the victim and um, it also, I think it gave me a sense of pride that there is now a relationship with the victim and it also gave me a sense of comfort that the victim knows how I felt and how it affected my family as well and like as I said now we could pass each other on the street and say hello without having to turn our heads or look embarrassed or anything like that. So basically it's a sense of relief and comfort when I finished that project to know that that man knew this like I did genuinely feel embarrassed for what my, my son had done as well. You need to get help, you, you don't need to be getting doors turned, clothes in your face. So I think with the Caleb when they offer you the support, mm. you should take it. And I just encourage any parent out there that has a child in a bit of trouble to come up and have a chat and give the project a go. For the victim it, it's quite, I suppose, it's quite traumatic. Um, they've been the victim of a crime and um, I suppose if the legal process has gone through um, they're still processing the, the hurt themselves, they mightn't have, have um, processed everything. Um, the restorative justice system gives them an opportunity to ask the why question, why me, is always the, the most important one um, and it allows a victim to sit down and ask that question and get an answer which we as Gardaí wouldn't be able to provide. They get to engage with the perpetrator and realise that the perpetrator isn't uh, this big nasty monster, that they're a human being and you know they can see Particularly if, if the young person is engaging with the system, the young person would generally be sorry for what they've done and the victim can see that, that there's genuine um, remorse, which goes a long way to, to fixing the victim, I suppose, in a way. What made my situation interesting was that the victim knew the person who perpetrated the crime and that made it difficult for the victim to understand why this person did the crime to him. The, the outcome of the meeting that I was involved with the victim was very pleased with the way the, the situation was handled. He got an opportunity to listen to the perpetrator of the crime and listen to what made him do what he did to the victim. And he gave me the feedback to say that this system is a system that he feels could work and could work with other victims of crime. Most crimes, I think, are generally committed um, either on the spur of the moment or for a need and the person committing the crime doesn't necessarily see the consequences of their crime and yes of course there's you know the, the, the criminal justice system kicks in and there might be a sentence or, the, or a, a conviction but they don't see the personal side of it of what their crime actually does to a person and how it affects um, entire families and this system allows the criminal to see uh, what they've actually done in reality um, and hopefully it'll change their, their ways.
uh, on a more personal level. I think it's a fantastic idea. Um, we should have been doing it years ago. Um, and I keep going on about our, our system. It's all crime focused. It's all about the criminal and the crime. There's very little for the victim. Uh, very little benefit in our justice system for the for the victim um, on a personal level. And this is their opportunity to get their point across um, and to get to move on, move on with their lives. When you get a, per a victim to meet the person who's perpetrated a crime, if you can get the two of them to shake hands afterwards and talk about what happened, I think that is a success. It isn't for everyone, but definitely for the people that have been involved to date, they found it a great healing process for them. And I think to date it's been a huge success here in the Limerick area, and I hope it continues to do so. I think at this stage, following the success that of some of the cases we've had here in Limerick and in Clare, this is an ideal opportunity for, to, for this particular project to be taken a step further. And I hope that all the agencies like the Judicial on Garda Shilkana, the Prison Service, the Probation Service, to work with Lakela in providing more restorative projects and restorative justice meetings. Mm -hmm.